Hi everyone, hello and welcome to today's webinar where we will discuss conquering your data and learning how to transform your marketing. My name is Alexandra Baer and I'm on the marketing team at Datarama. I'm joined by my colleague Alex Praviti on our client success team and Lucas Rabinowitz on our inside sales team. Today's webinar will last approximately 20 minutes and at the end we'll have time for a Q&A session. Should you have any questions throughout the webinar, please use the chat feature located on the right hand side of your screen to ask any questions. We'll do our best to respond to each and every question at the end of the presentation. During this webinar, we're going to walk you through the following three key things. One, setting goals in line with your business needs. Two, destroying marketing data and organizational silos. And three, consolidating your data. I will now hand this over to Alex. Thanks, Alex. I'm happy to be joining you all today. Um, before we dive in, I'd like to add a bit more background about myself. I have roughly seven years of agency experience in both an analytics and media planning capacity, and that's across vastly different clients, clients from consumer packaged goods to telco verticals. Um, in my previous role, I was actually a Datarama end user, and I was really leveraging the platform to transform my client's business. I was able to solve my client's marketing and reporting challenges while freeing up my time to more proactively engage in meaningful analysis, which is what prompted me to join the client success team at Datarama in the first place. And I have to say I'm as passionate about the platform as I am about marketing data. It's been a personal goal of mine to be able to share experiences with others facing similar marketing and data challenges. So that said, I'm pleased to be able to share with you some things I've picked up along the way that I think can truly help to realign and guide your way of thinking when it comes to your data. So let's get started. Um, we'll be digging a bit deeper into each of these three topics in a moment. But first, I want to spend a little time addressing some of the data challenges that exist for most folks in today's landscape. Uh, so first, we have business alignment. It's surprising, but not all organizations have complete alignment of their goals or needs. And this is because marketing data is used and interpreted differently across teams, which doesn't always align with business goals. Two, uh, data and department silos only add to these challenges and can really hurt an organization's ability to make the smartest and most informed decisions. And not to mention three, consolidation. Marketing data and the platforms we use are constantly changing and evolving. So as marketers, consolidating, even wrangling and controlling all of our data can be a real pain. <clears throat> but before we can feel better about our data and even truly dig in, we should start with business alignment. So the first step to conquering your marketing data lies with a deep understanding of your business needs. And to do this, we must ask the right question. A common obstacle here is data itself. Our data can be both fast and unstable, coming from a variety of different sources and channels, but unless we're asking the right questions, we'll find ourselves lost and overrun with data, yet no direction to move towards. So by asking questions, we can more thoroughly examine core organizational strategies, which is so essential before even beginning to slice and dice our data. For instance, you should ask yourself, how are my organizational goals being measured or quantified? Are there clearly defined and relevant KPIs that align with each of these goals? Perhaps individual stakeholders are looking at the same data, but a little differently. So maybe there are other KPIs we've overlooked and need to address. In that regard, it's crucial to think about your data as a whole and how it needs to be structured to meet the needs of everyone. Data exists in so many forms and doesn't always speak the same language as a business may need, so it's our responsibility to make sense of our data. In this way, we can bridge the gap from outdated KPIs to more necessary and relevant ones. So for example, thinking beyond standard metrics like click-through rate and considering how we measure more informative KPIs. Um, maybe something like retention rate of customers acquired across media channels might better serve your needs as a whole, or even custom KPIs like weighted indexes that take various metrics into account. Because of this, we need to ask ourselves, is the data I have sufficient to answer these questions and track those KPIs? And if not, what other data do I need? So by asking these types of questions, we've begun our quest for a unified view and have started to align our business goals and needs accordingly. Keep in mind, though, that finding the answers to these types of questions often require various data sources coming together, which is easier said than done, right? Well, some of you may already be familiar with what Datarama does and what we do, but 
for those of you that might not, Datarama actually makes your data wrangling nightmares disappear. Datarama allows you to connect to any data source in minutes, wherever it lives, whatever it looks like, and however much it changes, so that you're never left in the dark. Uh, we help professionals at thousands of leading brands and hundreds of agencies connect all of their marketing data sources together, whether it's a handful or hundreds, to form that single source of truth. And by doing so, that allows for more efficient reporting, better, better decision making, and total control over marketing performance since everything lives in one place. And speaking of things that live in one place, let's talk about the opposite. So more often than not, our marketing data is hidden and scattered across multiple organizational silos, much like it's visualized right here. So for instance, your marketing team may be responsible for data that's generated across media channels, while your sales and analytics teams are responsible for purchase insights or miscellaneous, miscellaneous reporting. Instead, we really need to destroy these silos and talk to each other like we want our data to which is in a unified and collaborative way. Once we're able to actually bring our data together, I can't stress how critical it is to get that data into the right hands. This plays such a huge role in our ability to make more informed decisions. And that's especially true of analysts or data scientists that might operate independently from other areas of your business. Because as smart as these folks may be, they may not always have the necessary context when making media and optimization recommendations. And that's because other teams may be more familiar with how that campaign data should be classified, or they may have details around launch dates or even impending promotional activities, which influence performance. Knowing these details allows us to tell a more complete story right out of the gate. And then we have the ability to shape an otherwise OK recommendation into a smarter, more relevant one. So where do we go from here? The first step to destroying these organizational and physical silos is to envision a single source of truth. However, before we can bring our data together, we must get everyone on the same page. So regardless of your role and what our data needs are, coming together to share knowledge helps to unify your data and also provides an environment conducive for making better, more well-rounded decisions. And this is something that I've personally achieved with Datarama since the platform makes collaboration fluid across teams through various visualizations and sharing tools. So whether you're an analyst or part of an executive leadership team, all of your data is in one place, which makes it easier to answer a number of questions different stakeholders may have at any given point in time. And this leads us to the actual consolidation of your data. So as I mentioned earlier, consolidating your data can be difficult for a number of reasons because marketing data is constantly evolving and changing, making a single source view or unified reporting very difficult. So to break this down further, first we have our marketing data across platforms and channels which change constantly, making it hard for us to track and control. But to make matters worse, most marketing data lives in silos across channels, campaigns, teams, and regions, making that unified view seem like a distant mirage. And not to mention with all of these changes, documentation can often be an afterthought. So because of this, we're limited in our ability to make the smartest possible decisions if we don't have that confidence in our data or the shared knowledge of our business rules. So let's start with our biggest challenge. And that's the ability to adapt to new and evolving data sources across a multitude of ever-increasing channels and technologies. Marketing data is the most volatile data set on Earth, and we actually call it living data because it streams in relentlessly and it changes constantly. New channels, new media, new applications all lead to new business questions, and you need to be able to adapt quickly, but most importantly with confidence. So to put this in perspective, this slide alone shows the exponential growth of different marketing technology platforms from 2011 up until March of this year. Each of these companies are trying to earn a spot in your tech stack. So being fluid and able to accommodate for all of these changes at a moment's notice is what, set this, is what sets businesses apart. And this is actually what Datarama does best. Uh, personally, I've been able to consolidate even the most stubborn of data files. So whether it's tied to offline data across TV, print, and out of home, or even CRM and digital data, I've been able to bring it all together seamlessly. So being able to adapt and react to different types of data across multiple channels is something that every organization should strive for. 
The next challenge with consolidation is physically wrangling all of your siloed data together and finding ways to make it fit in a single view, which can be a lot to ask of any marketer. And sometimes the way data is mashed together doesn't always make sense or align with our business goals. We end up in, with dashboards or visualizations just for the sake of having them, and that's not good for anybody. Instead, we want to be able to look at a data point or a trend and take immediate action from it. And the keyword there is action. Our KPIs and data points don't hold any meaning unless we're able to act on them. So we have some examples of dashboard capabilities within the data data on the platform that actually allow that to happen. These sample views showcase forecasting capabilities as well as key metrics across different channels, regions, and even in executive summary views that bring mounds of data into a single place. This, call, this consolidation frees up time spent that's manually wrangling data to focus on more important things like making optimizations and even deeper analysis. Um, dashboards and reporting should aim to enable end users to make the best possible decisions with the information that's available and in front of them in real time. So this in mind, it's important to think about your data and how it can be structured to tell a story. Some of the best ways to do this is by leveraging naming conventions as means to further dissect your data. And the more fluidity we have, the more relevant and insightful our reporting and insights will be. Lastly, a big barrier with consolidating your data can be lack of documentation. A common misconception is that documentation is a nice to have, but it's not. Anyone within your organization at any given moment in time should be able to know where your data is coming from, how your KPIs are calculated, and what business rules or logic is holding everything together. Without this kind of shared documentation, we can really disrupt the integrity of our data which can also hurt our ability to make the best possible decisions for our business. So in the end, the decisions we make as an organization are only as good as the data that we have, but also the data that we trust and understand. Our level of confidence in our data goes hand in hand with a holistic understanding of our business rules. So if we're not confident in what we're looking at, everything falls apart and bringing additional data sources together in that unified view becomes even more complicated. And more often than not, can be done incorrectly. So because of this, documenting everything is a crucial piece allowing businesses to tie everything together. By doing so, we have shared transparency across our teams, and we can maintain the integrity of our data, but also the decisions that we make as a whole. So we've covered a few things, but let's dial this back and bring it all together with some key takeaways. <laughs> so despite all the data challenges that we face as marketers, Together, each of these points can serve the collective needs of any organization, big or small. We're all trying to make sense of our messy data problems, but my hope is that these points we've covered today come together and can add some direction, which can help make your data seem a little less scary and a lot more manageable. All right. Uh, well, I've enjoyed taking everyone through this webinar today, and I'm now going to pass this off to Alexandra. Thank you, Alex. We'll now take a few minutes to answer a few questions that came in through the webinar. If you have any last minute questions, please feel free to go ahead and enter them and we'll do our best to address them. So the first question we got, it's a really great question. Um, Alex, would you approach any of these steps differently for a new business versus season one? And no, um, I'd actually pr approach these the same. Uh, in fact, I would place greatest emphasis on discovery and really knowing your business within our first step. Um, it can be overwhelming starting from scratch, but business needs and goals are constantly evolving along with the marketing data that we're generating. And as new sources emerge, so might our business needs. So the discovery and goal setting process is no different for large agencies or businesses than it is for new or small ones. Great. Thank you. Another question. Are there any specific nomenclature best practices that you can share? Uh, well, I think for any data, more granularity is better. Uh, but that's only the case if your nomenclature is maintained after it's initially set. Uh, when we're generating our classification rules, it's important to have alignment across all of our relevant stakeholders and to document and, document and mandate that accordingly. Uh, that creates much needed transparency and fluidity across reporting, as well as our organizational needs. Um, it's also important to consider that we're, there will always be a need for changes or enhancements to our existing naming classifications, so new and emerging types of media or targeting types 
were basically inevitable within the marketing space. So documenting all of these changes goes a really long way, not only for our organization, but for our internal reporting as well. Great. Thanks, Alex. And thanks, everyone, for a few great questions. That wraps up our webinar. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you got some value out of it. We'll be hosting some more in the future, so please be on the lookout for invites in the future. My colleague Lucas will follow up with you with a recording of the webinar. And if you're interested in learning any more about Datarama or have any other questions for Alex, let us know and we can discuss. Hope you have a great day.